Okay, you want to open the MIDI settings and then I've deleted the aggregate device to start a fresh one. Create aggregate device and name it whatever you want to call it. I just left it like that for ease of use. Then tick all the microphones in. I would start with your Rode, then do the Samson Meteor and then the Meteorite. We didn't have a problem using both these microphones. So that should be fine. I don't really know what this drift correction thing is, but it seems that when you add a new microphone it automatically ticks it and I think it's to keep the microphone synced up so just leave that as it is and then you can close the MIDI settings I always get this thing but don't worry about it it never causes this issue so just click OK then open GarageBand and you want to start a new voice track a uh, voice file delete everything so you've got a blank canvas uh, I'm just going to create this quickly just to get it out of the way, but what you want to do next is go to GarageBand Preferences. Go to Audio slash MIDI and make sure the input device is whatever you named the aggregate device. And then you want to start, or you delete that, and then you want to start a new audio track, so make sure the microphone selected, and down here click Input 1 and 2. They'll be, if you're using three microphones, there'll be one each for one and two, three and four, five and six. Um, I'm pretty sure one and two will be your road and then so on as you tick them. Uh, and then start another track and make sure it's selected as three and four. And that'll be the different microphones. And do that for all the microphones you've got plugged in. Then you want to go to track, track header and show record enable button. And then you'll get these two little recording dots there. So make sure they're both clicked and flashing on and off red. And that's it. You're good to go. You just record and then it should pick up both microphones or all three, however many you're using. 